around the Northwest. Over the last few years, the number of people dining out has declined. That means tips that servers, bussers, and hosts depend on have also decreased. Now, one restaurant owner in Seattle is taking a different approach to make sure his employees don't go home empty-handed. King 5's Maddie White breaks down this controversial approach. People online are calling it outrageous. There might be some who are mad about it, and that's fine. Five percent living wage surcharge on all checks here. We're very upfront about it. That is going to pay our staff. Period. End of story. Here at Toulouse Petite, they disclose it up front. It means on a $100 dinner, you're charged an extra five bucks, not including tip. To do full service dining, you need people, and it needs to be ordered. And in this environment, and today, they need to get paid. Getting paid in today's hospitality industry is not what it used to be, says Toulouse Petite owner Brian Huttmacher. No, no, <laughs> restaurants right now in Seattle are in a recession. He says critics of his living wage fee don't know the full story. He says the true do is when owners charge you a required tip percentage. What a lot of them did was the add-on 20% automatic gratuity. That is the least transparent and least honest way. He says more restaurants are doing this, but says servers often get their tips stolen that way. They don't have any option to go, okay, well, you're going to give me this terrible deal where I only get 60% of my gratuities. Why doesn't he just raise prices on food? He says customers wouldn't like that. <laughs> Why not? Because they just won't. Because they have because the dining public, by and large, believes that things should cost this much. But he's combating inflation and other woes. Right now, because of inflation and because of what they did to take out food. And while workers in other industries are getting their wages adjusted for inflation, he says... Servers got shafted. <laughs> Servers, no, there's less people going out. So he says the living wage fee goes toward his ability to keep managers, hostesses, line cooks, etc. employed and server tips stay untouched.